Consider the trajectories of two softballs. One was dropped, and the other was given an initial horizontal velocity of 2 meters per second. What is similar about the two paths? Look at their vertical positions. During each flash, the heights of the two softballs are the same. Because the change in vertical position is the same for both, their average vertical velocities during each interval are also the same. The increasingly large distance traveled vertically by the softballs from one time interval to the next shows that they are accelerated downward due to the force of gravity. Notice that the horizontal motion of the launched ball does not affect its vertical motion. A projectile launched horizontally has no initial vertical velocity. Therefore, its vertical motion is like that of an object dropped from rest. The downward velocity increases regularly because of the acceleration due to gravity. You can see here separate motion diagrams for the horizontal and vertical motions. The vertical motion diagram represents the motion of the dropped ball. The horizontal motion diagram shows the constant velocity in the x direction of the launched ball. This constant velocity in the horizontal direction is exactly what should be expected because there is no horizontal force acting on the ball. In this figure, the horizontal and vertical components are added to form the total velocity vector for the projectile. You can see how the combination of constant horizontal velocity and uniform vertical acceleration produces a trajectory that has a parabolic shape.